Going to get the trailer. Going to get jet, yes! Woo! How are you feeling? There's Jet. I'm excited. Taylor's first time seeing Wait, him. Can I go in there? There it is. It actually doesn't look too beat up. Jet's here. Jet's here. been uh, a few days since we have gotten the trailer and things are progressing maybe not quite as fast as I hoped that they would but that's okay um, I have a list here of things that I need to go buy today a lot of it's kind of like little things like a dustpan and broom sponges to show just kind of the stuff that I need to have in the trailer so I need to go get that stuff today and some bins and stuff to organize everything also to get this out of my house. This is the salted road stuff that I need to put in the trailer, but I have nothing to organize it yet. Also, I need to clean in there and we're not quite done fixing everything in the trailer, so I'm not sure if I should put that stuff in there now. But over the weekend, we got the front of the trailer fixed where it got dented from being dropped. So we got that all fixed up, which is good. Um, that's one less thing that we have to worry about. But yeah, I need to get all the little organizing things now and I'm super excited to get it looking nice in there. Yay! Hi guys, okay, so. I wanna make sure you don't see anything weird in the background here, but this video has just been all over the place. It's just been like a little update on the trailer and everything. I was gonna do more of like a tour of the trailer after I cleaned it out and everything. It's freezing outside and we're kind of having like a snowstorm in Western Washington right now, which really is like barely any snow. But for us, it's a big deal and uh, it's freezing. I'm not used to being that cold. So I don't really want to be out there giving you a tour. So I'll have to like, once I get everything cleaned up and all that, I'll give you guys a better tour besides what you already saw in the trailer earlier in this video. But I wanted to give you some more footage for this video so it's not super short and boring. I do think some of this is a little bit boring, but you guys liked this video last time I did it. I did a little kind of supplies haul for the trailer and things that I bought for the trailer. Uh, this little section of our house has been the little salted road section and I'm really excited to get everything out of our house because our house is small, like that's our bedroom, bathroom, and then this is pretty much where you are is like our kitchen and that's the extent of it. Um, living room is right there, you can't see it, but it makes a big difference when there's just clutter so I can't wait to get this out into the trailer and get it organized and containers and drawers and all that. So, But for now, I'll show you some of the things I've gotten. A lot of this is really boring, so you're not really gonna care, but it is what it is, so I'll try to go through it fast. 
first we got some sponges to clean, obviously. Um, next we got this hose, <laughs> a drinking water hose for fresh water uh, to put that in the tank when I'm going out with the trailer. I have some black bar towels and I actually don't like really remember where I bought all this stuff. So uh, I think these were from Barista Basics online. I don't know. You guys are just gonna have to look some stuff up because I'm not sure where I found it. But these are supposed to be bleach safe towels, which is cool. Hopefully it works because I like black and black matches the trailer. Um, we'll see how those work, but that's the only towels I have for now. I'm probably gonna order some of those white ones later. I got another pitcher. This is different than the other ones I showed you before, which I can link that video up in the top bar, whatever site it shows up on for you guys to see the previous supplies haul that I've done. But I just got another pitcher just because it's good to have a lot and uh, it's not white like my other ones, but still cute. It's just like a basic pitcher. So there's that. Got a little cleaning brush for the counter. On the grounds, get them in the garbage. We got a little timer so I can make sure my shots are ready to go in the morning. We have a porta filter here. I have too many of these. I didn't realize it came with two, the machine, our espresso machine. Um, so I bought another one and I already have two more. So now we just have a lot of porta filters, but it's okay. It, I guess you can never have too many of them. And then this is a steaming thermometer. I'm not gonna take it out of there because it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but yeah, just so you can watch the temperature on that if you need to make a kid's drink or something um, a little bit more specific. Uh, I have a little stamp here, which I got from a company on Etsy. I don't know the name of the company, but they did a good job. <laughs> just a custom stamp with our logo so we can stamp our cups. This is just basic. This is like equipment and stuff with the machine. So it's like the screen and gasket replacement and all that. Then we have the back flush basket here for the porta filter. If you're a barista, you know what I'm talking about. If you aren't, you don't know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. Basically, you have to clean out the machine every night and this is what back flushes the cleaner back up into the machine, cleans it out, blah, blah, blah. Boring, that's what that's for. Just another little brush to kind of get up in the screen and everything and where you put the porta filter to clean that out every night. We have some paint here to touch up some things in the trailer, so good to have. Um, I'm not going to show you what's in here, but I went to an antique store with Garrett and picked out some things for a vendor event we have coming up soon, which we're just going to kind of set up shop at a table and all that and have some samples of cold brew from Cafe Umbria, who is our roaster, and uh, make it all cute and stuff and have information there and get brides information and stuff for doing wedding. It's a wedding expo, so um, that's in like a week, I think, and that's going to be Pretty fun, I've never done one before, but it'll be fun to do that. These are all of our business cards that I just got. I'll show you one of them so you can see what it looks like. I got these from Vista Print, I'm pretty sure, and they were actually like a pretty decent price and came decently fast, I think. Um, obviously had to do black, so it just has like our name on the front, and says mobile coffee bar, and then the back has all of our information. Um, if that focuses, that's what the back looks like. I got a ton of those. A ton, a ton, a ton of those. So I'll have those out also at the um, vendor event. And then here we have a classic beach, beach bleach bucket for bleach. Duh. And some of these stainless steel cups. This is where you can put spoons and things with ice in it to keep them from getting bacteria on them. The spoons that you stir the drinks with and all that. And then I got an extra one for... If I need another one, these are pretty cheap, so I just got a couple of them in case I need them. And then I got two fridge thermometers here because health department and just you need to know how much, how uh, the temperature of the fridges are and for the health department, like this is required. So I had to make sure I had enough of those. Um, I got another thermometer for steaming just because... You never have too many. I'm not gonna have too many uh, food items, but I will have a little bit of pastries, and so this is what I'm gonna use for that. Self-explanatory. And then this tiny little baby pitcher for steaming, kind of if someone just wants uh, Americana with steamed cream. You don't wanna steam a whole pitcher of cream or whatever, and you're not gonna be able to steam it in a big pitcher. So this is how you're gonna steam the cream for somebody because it's cute and little and it'll just be enough for their drink. And then we have our bleach strips, testing strips. You have to make sure it's the right amount. A bleach in there um, you don't want too much you don't want too little and that's also a health code requirement that you have to have those strips the next thing I have here is our whipped cream maker mm, homemade whipped cream is the best so that's what we got going on there I have the little chargers somewhere else I'm not sure where I put those but uh, excited to use that huge hose here 
Oh my gosh, I can't even lift it. Oh, this is heavy. This is a bigger hose in case my water supply is too far away from the trailer and I can't use that smaller one, then I have a bigger one here that I'll be able to hook up the water and all that if I need a bigger one. First aid kit, basics, you obviously need one in there because you never know when you're gonna cut yourself. So there's that. Then we have some bleach for our bleach bucket. Duh. This is actually a calendar I got from Cafe Ubria, which is our roaster, and it's just cute. It has some nice pretty coffee pictures on it. I'll probably put that inside the trailer too. Oh my gosh, we have so much snow. It's like spinning in circles right now. It's not even coming straight down. Honestly, that might be pretty much it. We don't have that much more to show you. It's not very exciting. Again, I have another hose in here. Maybe this is for something else. I don't know why I have so many hoses. And then we got some tools to adjust the ball and stuff on the hitch if I need to do that. So that's what that's for. And last but not least, there is a cover for our generator if it's ever out in the rain or something or outside where it can't get wet or uh, needs to stay away from the weather conditions. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update on the trailer. I know a lot of you have been waiting forever for this update. We have the trailer. Thank God, I'm so excited that we have it. And um, I don't even know if I updated you in this video about it, but there was a little mishap that happened and we got it fixed. And we're still kind of touching up some other little things, but we're supposed to have this snow for the next week. Um, and right now we're keeping the antifreeze in there that our builder Mark put in there when it was in Arkansas they had snow too um, and I don't want to worry about any of the pipes freezing or anything this week so we're leaving the antifreeze in there we're gonna flush it out when the snow's all gone and starts to warm up a little bit I uh, finished cleaning everything out we can give you guys a real tour and all that and I'll keep you updated if you have any questions the things I didn't answer or update you on and you guys want to know about please put them down below I'd love to update you on that and I can't even remember what I told you so um, just let me know what you want to know. Thank you for following this journey I'm super thankful for all of you that support what I'm doing and I'm super excited to see what's to come this year It's gonna be super fun. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye